better homes. Friday at 7. Then, Channing Tatum has to save the President of the United States. Damn right. White House down after new better homes Friday. You're watching 7 Local News. As you heard earlier, former Maroons origin great Shane Webke was in Gladstone today, while in Rocky, lucky locals were spoiled with a visit from North Queensland cowboy Jake Granville. The former St Brendan's boy didn't bring the NRL trophy with him, but fans were still stoked to meet the Premiership winner. The NRL Premiership winner was granted a mighty warm welcome. Jake Granville is a proud ambassador for Multicap, an organisation that provides housing for people with a disability. They do a wonderful job here, so any point I can help, I, um, I love it. The, the guys are super excited having him here today. It's also a major thing for Multicap to have someone like Jake that was in the Premiership this year, they won, yay. <laughs> the Cowboys hooker was bombarded with photo requests and signatures from some of his biggest fans. Jake signed in um, on my shirt. So I can tell one of my friends because she's away in Perry out. I got an article for one of the boys. I think think that um, he's kept every clipping from the last couple of months. But um, no, nah, it's, it's awesome. They love their footy. Granville helped officially open the brand new units. And while North Queensland pre-season is yet to begin, the locals put him to the test in a game of backyard footy. <laughs> They'll teach me a few things, I reckon. The 26-year-old will enjoy a short break at home before another big year. I just keep working on my defence and there's a lot to learn in attack and um, they got the coaching staff and the players to help me do that. And if he needs any encouragement to make it back-to-back -back premierships, he'll always have a strong backing from CQ. Katie Brown, 7 News. Oh, what a great day. Now, the CQRU Association no longer exists, but under the Queensland Rugby Union, a central Queensland advisory group has been formed to ensure the sport goes ahead next season. It's been two months since the region's rugby body went into voluntary liquidation, and Rugby Park will not... The issue is ongoing.